Well, you're talking to me now in, what, three or four months into a Broadway run of a play. So the next thing I will not be doing is a play. Not because I hate it, but because of the demands that it makes theatre on your stamina and your equipment and uh, and your stamina <laughs> again. Um, you have to really learn how to use yourself in life because your whole day is aiming towards this sort of eight o'clock or seven o'clock release of energy and um, and it's very different every night. And it goes on eight times a week for, in this case, probably five months. Just in terms of the detail of it, that's very different to going to a film set, maybe having one scene to shoot on one day. Maybe you only have 10 lines or something. But of course, the pill or the, the thing you have to work with is the fact that those 10 lines you might have to do 30 takes, maybe. And every one of them has to be as found, as fresh <clears throat> as every other one. And there may well be technical things that screw it up and not your fault at all. So it's just a different use of yourself. Um, and you you might be on some windswept plane or, or as I have been um, covered in black wool in the Australian outback, lying down in 40-something degrees of heat. Uh, uh, it's just, a, it's a whole different ball game. But I've been fortunate um, to do both because I've actually found that working on film actively helps me on stage because it persuades you that less is more, in case you haven't ever worked that one out. Um, and that, um, and actually, just standing still and thinking on stage will transmit. People will pick it up. Hmm. And is there, in terms of space, again, you know, on a film set as you are here, surrounded by lights, you need to stop for a second. Is there a difference? Is there, is there, well, not a difference, but is there, I mean, you know, you talk about the theater and they talk about a place like the Harvey with people leaning in and the audience all being, you know, Peter Brook has, again, written about this many times, about the, the kind of almost uh, religious sort of feeling of, of a theater set as opposed to a film set. Is that, do you think that that's important? Do you think that it's just two different beasts, or...? I think it's very important, and I think they are two different beasts in a way, because um, in a theater, I, I Peter Brook talks about choose your church carefully. I seem to remember. Uh, it, yes, it's unnameable what happens. You've got to be talking about great writing. And then you've got to be talking about honest endeavors between director, actor, designer to pass the work that you do in a rehearsal room over to an audience and, and that there is an interchange and it's received and then something else happens in a theater. And it's human, and and I believe a human need to be told stories. It's how we make sense of ourselves. It's how we figure out who we are or how we've changed. Um, it's why the word theater has to reinvent itself all the time in order to keep up with what's happening in society. Um, but having said that, you can still put a couple of actors or one actor in an empty space, and uh, and something magical will happen. You know, I was just at the Harvey recently watching John Hurt doing Crap's Last Tape um, to 800 people. Film, well, you you make the piece of work. You've just, you you've just, you've chosen to say yes to a script, and then basically from that moment on, you cross your fingers because you show up, you shoot it hopefully with an honest heart and mind, and hopefully in a collaborative way. And then you cross your fingers as it goes into an editing room, and then from there into a marketing department, and 
then you know everybody's got their finger up to some unknown wind really with a movie and um and it's very much easier to take a sledgehammer to mass expectations with films i think film film can make people more stupid um and people who are not connected with the making of films can make a great deal of money and that of course is the huge difference would be the word money i think in terms of film and theater uh on one level but of course having said that we've all also had our lives doubtless changed deeply affected by um brilliant works of film so i'm obviously not saying one is better than the other um but by and large well i suppose you can dumb down audiences in the theater too pretty easily <laughs>